All right, let's get Sean out here this morning, uh, cranking up uh, the heat again today across uh, North Texas. Record heat, perhaps, as we head into the next few days, and then we'll get to those changes for us as we head into the weekend. But in the meantime, as we take you out to Weatherford College, good morning there. 76 degrees here this morning with those partly cloudy skies out there here early on. So that's what we're starting out with, with those temperatures in the 70s area wide. Some lower 70s heading over to Terrell here at 72 along with Rockwall 71, Wiley 72 as well. Then we come back out to Rome. You're waking up to 76 here this morning and Sanger along with Denton at 75. So a warm start, a little disturbance working its way across the area here this morning. So some very light showers and sprinkles are possible across the parts of the area here early on today. But this is all the rain that we will see. Maybe a couple of spots around the Metroplex heading down toward Hillsboro as well. A lot of this will be evaporating before hitting the ground. So not much in the way of rain at all, and it will be hot. The skies become mostly sunny heading uh, later into today with those south winds. They could be gusting up as high as 30 miles per hour today. Check out the triple digit heat heading out, out toward Abilene San Angelo. It is going to be oppressively hot in those areas a little bit later on today. We're going to be well into the 90s for us again this afternoon, maybe breaking that record high. So here's what it looks like with the high temperature trend over the next five days, getting us into the weekend. Now we'll have a high of around 97 today. That would break the record of 96, 98 tomorrow. So very close to that record high of 99, and that will be the case on Friday as well. Here comes the cold front, knocking those temperatures down for the weekend, but it will also bring us a chance for some showers and thunderstorms as we head late into Friday. So here's how this may play out and as we go through the day tomorrow. We'll keep it dry, just hot as you just saw, but here comes the front later in the day on Friday out ahead of that. We'll have that dry line that will be the focus for some thunderstorms. Those will fire up off ahead of that and work their way into the area as we head into the late afternoon and evening, and then eventually the cold front will trail behind. That's going to move through during the day on Saturday, so that will shift those winds around out of the north and that will bring in the cooler air. Air Force and it will still be a cooler there on a Saturday, but even cooler getting into Sunday. Now we will have a marginal risk for some strong and severe thunderstorms with those uh, storms on Friday. So uh, keep that in mind. Could be talking about some hail and some gusty winds. So keep that in mind as we head into Friday afternoon and evening. Otherwise, here's that 10 day forecast. So certainly a hot end to the week with those highs in the upper 90s and then much cooler overnight lows by Sunday, dipping into the upper 50s and many areas may not get out of the 70s for those highs on Sunday afternoon, and then we'll have a chance for some showers and storms, a slight one getting into next week, and we'll see those temperatures creeping back up just a bit too.